Hey beautiful people, it's me, Rena, and today I finally have a video up, <laughs> and I'll be talking about collecting dolls. And so first I just want to, you know, talk to you guys for a little bit and kind of give you guys, you know, an idea of what's happening. Um, and so you might know me from streaming or from gaming videos, and I still love gaming. I don't know if I'm still going to be streaming, but... I've decided that I'm going to start focusing on YouTube. Um, I do like recording videos and pre-recording them, being able to do that. And also, there's more to me than just video games. And from what I've heard from you guys through the many polls that I've taken over the course of my whole, you know, creation journey, is that you guys like to hear me talk. And so, I'm going to do some more commentary videos and it will be over a bunch of different things. One of them being that I collect multiple different topics um, and I can do a video about each of those things and these topics typically lend themselves towards you know IRL videos where I would physically show you my collection and I might do that eventually um, but what I find more interesting is talking about my collections and why I collect certain things um, because even though I have similar collections to other people I think that I collect them for different reasons and so I thought you guys might be interested in that and so I'm doing this now um and so today's video is gonna be about dolls and why I'm collecting dolls what brands I'm in what brands I'm interested in um, and some honorable mentions at the end for things that I would like to collect but for some reason or another I'm not currently collecting but I could see myself in the future collecting them um, and so why dolls? Um, okay, well, as a child, I always liked dolls, um, but I always liked dolls for different reasons that I think that people or other kids liked dolls. Um, I liked looking at dolls. I didn't really do a lot of pretend play and, you know, you know, <laughs> acting out like fights between characters and stuff like that. It really wasn't like that. I would just kind of just look at my dolls a lot and stack them together and just be like wow they're so pretty um and for some reason i don't remember a lot of the dolls that i used to have i know i never owned a barbie um but i did own like brats but i can't remember which exact brats like i just know that i really like brats and that was the one that my mother would primarily buy for me so yeah and so i just liked the fashion um for i think Almost anyone who's especially into dolls goes through a phase of like wanting to be a fashion designer and wanting to, you know, have the latest fashions. And so I did go through a fashion designer phase growing up where it was just, especially if you like brats, you know, passion, passion for fashion, like they want to be fashion designers. I want to be fashion designers. They're super cool. I want to be super cool, you know? So I did that for um, a little while. I used to... Um, really just get dolls because I like their clothes and swapping their clothes out, but not so much like pretend play. And I didn't used to play with dolls with other people. I don't think I've ever played dolls with another child. And because I grew up primarily as a only child. Now I'm not an only child, but for a long time I was. And so I learned how to just, you know, be by myself and play with my toys by myself. And so yeah, those were just the things that I was interested in. Um, and so that was, um, that's one of the reasons why I'm collecting dolls now is that it just brings me back to that time of just looking at dolls and how beautiful they are. Like, I'm just like, dolls are really pretty. Like, I just love um, how they have these outfits and these specific styles. Like, even, you know, Mattel is not, you know, similar to MGA. They have totally, you can tell when a doll is, you know, produced by MGA and when a doll is produced by Mattel. And so I think that's really interesting. And so that's one of the reasons that I used to like dolls as a kid. And it honestly is a form of therapy. I think that I'm going back, I think it's similar to like gaming where people play games that they liked as a child because it's nostalgic, it you know gives them peace, it helps them to relax. And I feel the same about dolls where it's just like, it reminds me of a time where I didn't have all these responsibilities and all these things that I had to do and think about. It was literally just, what outfit is this doll gonna wear? <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, and then so moving past that, I also love collections. So as I said earlier, 
collections are my thing like i collect everything i have so many collections and i'm not being i'm not exaggerating and like i said i can do i'm sure there's like a tweet somewhere on um twitter or x whatever the heck i'm not even getting into that but you can find something on that platform where i have like a list of um some of my collections but as I, like that's not accurate <laughs> um because i have a lot of collections and so i'm like i remember when i was in elementary school like first grade i started collecting collecting stickers and so i still have that book of stickers that i had and i kept i still have that collection like i still collect stickers and you have a problem because you know you're supposed to use stickers and i can't use them because i'm like what if i find the perfect thing to put the stickers on and now I'm, i already used it for something else now see like it messes everything up so that's a whole other thing anyways um i love collections i have many collections a lot that i've had for years i can i'm easily i pick up a collection like i can go to a store and see a blind box and i'm like oh i'm collecting that now like i will get every single one because i have a problem and i love collecting so and as i said like as even as a kid um especially as it relates to dolls i would just want the dolls especially if they were like related to like a tv show or they're related to like some type of movie like the brats they had um the brats show and they had the brats movies and i was just like i want that one because i remember her in the movie so that's one. Next reason is that I love fashion. I love fashion. I think fashion tells an interesting story about who you are. Um, you can purposely wear something or not wear something to tell people who you think you are and how they want to, how you want them to perceive you. I think that's really interesting. I think dolls are such an interesting way to show fashion because they are not limited to at least most of the time um they're not limited to um societal expectations so they can wear you know the craziest thing and it's just like well that's her style or that's their style like and you know and then they, that's just such a nice way to go about showing a character and yeah and i feel like also they inspire me to do more with my fashion and so yes they don't have the limitations of society but typically people do but then seeing it on a doll because sometimes you know what you want to wear and how you want to wear it but you're not sure um how far you can take it you know and so i feel like dolls are kind of like they're miniature people you get to see oh like if i wore a fur coat and a mini skirt that would be cute <laughs> Um, and it's just like, it gets, it gets, it's a way to mix, mix and match and to really see, you know, how far you can take a look. And I think that's really interesting. And so that's another reason why they, they, that I want to collect dolls is that they really inspire me to do the absolute most. Um, and even as it relates to even makeup, like I want to do, and I don't know if I'll ever post videos of this, but I do want to do looks inspired by some of the dolls that I'll be collecting and that includes makeup and hair and stuff like that. I think that it's really interesting that you can literally be anything and you can show that through your clothing. Um, and so another reason that I'm collecting dolls is because I love characters. I get very attached to characters. I think that they're really interesting and so you'll notice this in the brands that i'm interested in and the doll lines that i'm interested in why i'm interested in them is because they have characters that i feel very connected to and that i want to see in all lights and i want to see different versions of that character with different outfits and different accessories and so yeah i love characters i read books i watch shows i watch movies and now that i'm collecting dolls i'm i'm literally thinking why wow, they should make a doll of this character because i would get it um and so that's one of the reasons why it's like having a physical um a physical memory of a fictional character and to me that's so healing to say oh look at that person like i literally i own you know a doll that looks like them and you know to watch the show and then to have the doll with the same exact outfit that they wore like that to me is really cool um and lastly they inspire my art um looking at dolls is such a fun thing to do <laughs> 
Um, I don't know how anyone could look at dolls and not want to create something after looking at them. They have such vibrant colors, such weird aesthetics, um, and they make me want to draw. Um, another thing is that a lot of dolls that I like have, you know, um, high amounts of articulation so that I can shape their bodies in the way that I want and then maybe, you know, practice poses because um, anatomy, I would say, is not one of my strong suits. And so having dolls like this will allow me to, you know, practice that part. Um, but yeah, and then I also have a hard time thinking of new and interesting outfits for, um, you know, in drawing and it'll inspire me to think of different outfits because they have all these dolls that I'm like, how did you think of so many outfits? I know a lot of people are critical about, um, some of the outfits, but I'm like, okay, yeah, but they're dropping like $130 a year. Like, you think of that many outfits, you know, that are interesting and unique. Like, half of y'all wear the same dusty clothes every day. So, like, I'm like, it's very hard to think of, like, a miniature outfit to put on these dolls that are interesting and different every single time, you know? And so, but they do it, and that's really interesting to me. And so, being able to have a doll, I'm like, oh my gosh, I never thought of, you know... Uh, asymmetrical j fur jacket that looks like that like I'm gonna draw something similar to that or you know pushing boundaries in ways like you know you know just making interesting outfits that I wouldn't otherwise think of um, and so that's another reason why I um, get inspired by looking at dolls is because they have all these interesting things another thing more recently we're getting different molds of different body types and so it allows me to you know practice the anatomy of different body types and how clothes sit on those body types um and i think that's really fun and interesting so that is why i'm collecting dolls um so there's a lot of history of just you know liking dolls as a kid and then you know just little parts of me that is something that I'm interested in right now and how far and how long I'll be taking this collection I don't know um I do have a little sister so if in the end I decide that I don't want these dolls I will be giving them to her um if she wants them you know I'm not gonna put them on her if she doesn't want them um and I'm also willing to sell them in the future if they're not something that I want um but Right now, I'm really interested in them. I'm having a great time being really interested in them because I think that they are very interesting. <laughs> okay, so this video ended up being really long and there were supposed to be multiple parts. But instead, this is gonna be the first part of um, why I'm collecting dolls and the next video will be the doll lines that I'm interested in under the doll brands that I'm interested in. And so, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you have a good day, whatever day it is, and wherever you are. Um, and thank you so much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And tell me if you're interested in collecting dolls, or if not, you know, would you be interested in the future? Let me know. All right, bye.